Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of Ask Coach Marie. I'm Marie O'Neill, founder of Padma Life Coaching and your host on this series. This is a place where you ask a question and I give my unique opinion as a life renewal coach, astrologer and past life regression facilitator. Each week on Friday, a new video is released with me answering two questions from the viewers. In addition to that, I talk about various other life renewal topics. Please know that I am not a therapist and I will never tell you what you must do. Let's go ahead and get started with the questions for this week. Our first question comes from Marty, who is in Brisbane, Australia. Marty asks, I lost my best friend in a freak accident 10 years ago, and there hasn't been a day when I haven't thought about him. How do I know if he is okay? This is a very good question, Marty, and I appreciate you asking it. A lot of people are concerned about their loved ones who have crossed over. And for the most part, most of them are fine. When we cross over, there are people who meet us on the other side, and they are usually people that we know. We also have spirit guides. There are times when we don't recognize our spirit guides, and so what happens is we are met by people who we are familiar with from this incarnation, from the incarnation that the person just left. The individual, of course, goes through a life review, go over their life and, and how it progressed along and what they've learned and where they want to go from here. What I have learned about people who are on the other side or some people, they can still have frustration, anger, whatever their emotions were on this side. A lot of times they will take those emotions with them and they will take those emotions with them. They're also a lot of times concerned with the people that they've left behind. And so to answer your question about whether your friend is okay or not, you can ask your friend. If you've thought about your friend every day, as you, you've stated, it could be that your friend is reaching out to you to let you know how he is doing. Their hearing on the other side is acute. They hear our thoughts and they hear us when we call out to them. Ask your friend if he is okay. Ask your friend if there are any messages or you know information that he wishes you to have. After you ask your friend if he is okay, there's several things that you can do. You can pay attention to your thoughts. Sometimes people on the other side will impress uh, thoughts onto our mind to let us know what is going on with them. Sometimes they will give you a scent. Sometimes you will have something strange happen in the house. Maybe your phone will ring for no reason and you look at it and it's your friend's name that pops up. There's so many ways that people on the other side are doing their best to get messages to us, to let us know how they're doing, or even to give us additional information about our lives too. So I would ask your friend directly, pay attention to what is going on in your environment, including paying attention to your senses, because as I said, they can impress thoughts on you, they can give you smells, uh, you can have certain tastes that come up. You have more than five senses, but it's the five senses a lot of times that are used to get information to you. You can also go to a psychic medium. They can relay information to you also about your friend. I am sorry 
that you lost your friend and that you're suffering. Most of the time, the people who cross are doing fine because they're not in pain anymore. And it's still, however, nice to have a definite answer from your friend. So I hope that answers your question. And I hope that you get the information that you're seeking directly from your friend of how he is doing. Send me a note, put a comment below, and let me know what you find out. All right, we are going to move on to our topic for today. And the topic is the auric field. It's an energetic field that is around each person, each plant, each animal, an energy field that is where everything is stored. If we have an illness, you know, whatever our energy is, you can feel it around us. Have you ever had someone come up behind you and you could feel them there, even though you couldn't see that they were there? Well, they're interacting with your energy field, which is that auric field. Each of us has a color that emanates from our auric field. Some people are really good with being able to see the energy field of others. I am not. I can sense it, but I'm not able to actually see it. That one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about the auric field is that whatever it is you're working on, I mean, if you're working on healing yourself or if you are working on an illness, if you can go to an energy healer, they will work with your energy field to heal it on that level outside the body. Whenever we are ill, usually that illness shows up in the energy field before it shows up in the physical body. So it's a good idea to catch any potential illness or problem when it's in that field before it hits the body. Because once it gets to the body, it becomes much more challenging to heal it. You can sit and picture white light going through your energy field. It runs from the top of your head all the way down around your feet. And some people's energy field is closer into the body. And then there are others whose energy field is out. Your energy field can be pulled in or it can be expanded. It's all up to you with what you want to do. If you are feeling fear, your energy field will come in closer to the body for protection. And if you're feeling open and joyous and happy, it can extend out a pretty good distance from the body. Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about with you today, just to give you a bit of information about the auric field. And so the auric field and the energy field are the same thing. It's just a different name. Let's go ahead and work with the second question for today. The second question comes from Veronica, who is in Portland, Maine. Veronica says, I've often wondered if animals have consciousness. What is your opinion about this? Thank you, Veronica, for that question. Yes, animals have consciousness. Their consciousness is different than ours. And by the way, we also have been in prior lives. We have been animals before and we've evolved from that into human form. Animals stay in the present moment. So their consciousness is a lot of times it's much clearer and purer than ours because they stay in the present moment. They deal with what is right in front of them. They don't think about the past. They don't think about the future. In human form, we are the ones who think about that. They don't have the karma that we have, or at least that's my understanding of it, that they don't carry that. And yes, they do have consciousness and they're very smart. A lot of times they're smarter than we are in certain instances. 
They have the ability to be intuitive. They're just naturally intuitive and they know who to trust and who not to trust. If you want to know whether or not you should deal with a particular person, you should have them in your life or not, bring an animal to any meeting that you're having or put that person in front of an animal and the animal will inform you by their behavior whether or not that person is beneficial for you to be around or not. The animals are uncanny with being able to see someone else's energy field. And if the animal is afraid or if they elicit some strange behavior, then you know you need to take heed. Yes, animals do have a consciousness. And thank you for asking that question. We have come to the end of the questions for this week, and I appreciate you listening to the questions and the answers. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube station. As I've said before, that really does help the algorithms. And in turn, that helps this video and all the videos to be viewed by other people or be seen by other people. Send your questions to PadmaCoach at iCloud.com or you can even put them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you in the comments below what you think about this video. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.